So if vented dryers require yearly maintenance in order to prevent them from becoming a fire hazard, does that mean that vent less dryers like condenser dryers and heat pump dryers are better? In some ways, yes, but in other ways, no. As with traditional vented dryers, vent less dryers are still tasked with removing both the water from your clothing and the lint that your clothing produces. Rather than venting the hot humid air like a vented dryer, ventless dryers will have a different method for collecting and disposing of the water that's removed from your clothes. Ventless dryers will have either an external drain hose that connects to your house's plumbing into which the water will drain, or an internal tank that collects the water and must be emptied by the user at the end of the drying cycle. Like vented dryers, ventless dryers also have lint filters. But because the smaller bits of lint that make it past the lint filter have to go somewhere, the remaining lint accumulates in one of two places depending on the type of ventless dryer. In condenser dryers, lint that makes its way past the lint filter eventually begins to build up on the condenser part of the dryer, which is removable and should be cleaned periodically. While heat pump dryers actually have two lint filters, an inner filter that has to be cleaned after every dry cycle like a traditional filter, and an outer filter that should be cleaned once every several cycles. This dual filter system allows for airflow while also preventing the smaller particles of lint from building up on the internal components of the dryer. Overall, changing vented for ventless doesn't change whether or not you have to do maintenance on your dryer, it just changes the type of maintenance you have to do. Which is why it's always important to read the maintenance section of your dryer's manual. Because of the advanced designs ventless dryers utilize to dry your clothing, they consume much less electricity than vented dryers and therefore have both a smaller environmental impact and a smaller impact on your electric bill. However, these advancements in dryer technology come with a few downsides. The parts required for ventless dryer designs make them heavier, more expensive, and more difficult to repair than a traditional dryer that vents outside. Additionally, most ventless dryers available in the United States are smaller than their vented counterparts. Because most homes in the US that have a dryer hookup are constructed for hookups with vented dryers, ventless dryers are primarily designed to be used in spaces that can't accommodate a vented dryer, like in very small apartments in very crowded cities. The methods by which ventless dryers remove moisture from your clothing is also done at a much lower temperature than in vented dryers. The advantages of drying at a lower temperature are that it consumes less electricity and it's less damaging to your clothing over time. The disadvantage is that lower temperatures take a longer time to remove moisture than higher temperatures. So in addition to ventless dryers being smaller, they also take longer to dry than vented dryers. 